More than 720,000 families and minors traveling alone have turned themselves into Border Patrol agents along the southwest border since October 2016. Over 110,000 others have presented themselves at ports of entry in just the last two years, and about 40% of them are from Guatemala, the biggest single group. The pool is so strong that not even the death of eight-year-old Felipe Gomez Alonso, who died in Border Patrol custody on Christmas Eve, has deterred others from coming. That includes his uncle and cousin, who have left the isolated village of Yalambojoj, about 11 hours from the capital. That's where Felipe was from. Some flee gangs, violent partners, or cartels. For others, it's poverty and an idea of what life can be like in the United States. Guatemala has one of the worst income inequalities in the hemisphere. About 51% of the population live in poverty. 76% for indigenous communities such as the ones in Huehuetenango, where many of those arriving in Arizona come from. One out of every two children under the age of five are chronically malnourished, and it's even higher in the Western Highlands. The rural indigenous population was greatly impacted by a 36-year armed conflict that claimed more than 200,000 lives. That's more than in similar conflicts in El Salvador, Nicaragua, Chile, and Argentina combined. And many are still reeling from the effects. In a place like this, entire families fled to Mexico during the conflict. Then they only came back to migrate again, this time to the U.S. in the late 1990s after recruiters arrived offering them jobs in chicken plants and farms in the southeast. Now parents leave with their children in tow. It's a new migration trend in part driven by a cycle of debt, money borrowed for day-to-day -day living or thousands to pay for the journey north. While many Guatemalans in this region work in the coffee fields, that only pays $6 a day and only for the season. Once someone leaves and is deported, they see no other way to repay the thousands of dollars borrowed but to keep trying until they make it. So more school desks sit empty. A middle school classroom in Bulej has only four students, all girls. The rest have either dropped out of school because they can't afford it or left for the United States. Families hear that if you come to the U.S. with a child and turn yourself in, you can stay. They don't have to walk for days in the desert risking death. So they leave and they will continue to leave as long as they remain hopeless, life in their native Guatemala will change.